Hi, I'm Dr. John Arlette here in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, using ultrasound, basically facial imaging, in general dermatology for changes that you may see on the skin uh, for patients who present with features that they're concerned about. It'll help us understand what's going on underneath the skin rather than being able to only interpret what we see on the surface. And that, normally we would be doing this in the aesthetics mode uh, for the monitor, but we're gonna switch this over and we're gonna do this on the new uh, dermatology mode. Just makes it much easier for us. We'll also be uh, using um, our voice activated and voice controlled uh, software, which will help us uh, control the instrument, especially useful when we're working alone. So we can see here on our, on our patient, this little change on the cheek, and this has been going on for about four months. It fluctuates in size. You can see that there's a nodule anterior to this. There's atrophy. You can tell that the inflammation has been going on for a while. So what we're going to do is just bring our ultrasound device up and we're going to look at the lesion here and we're going to be able to see a number of things that will help us understand it. Freeze. So here we can see our image which shows our cystic lesion, inflammation, surrounding a central area of material which is reflective. So we're seeing some hyperechoic material in the center. So we're getting a lot of reflection from that. And that likely represents a keratinous cyst in the middle, which we know will not respond to interlesional treatment. Uh, and so this is a case where we may consider uh, doing a surgical intervention. It certainly helps us understand what's happening with the patient unfreeze and so we'll just come back to it and we can see actually where there's a little ostea that goes up to the surface of the skin so here with our clarius l20 new hd3 we have great visualization of the lesion which is limited to the dermis we know it doesn't go uh, any deeper than that so that we can uh, have a clear idea when we're going to go in and do our excision how much tissue that we're going to need to remove we've had a really good representation of what this cyst looks like underneath the skin. It gives us a better idea of what we're dealing with and lets us be much clearer with our patients rather than saying, I think it's this. Now we can say I'm a much better idea of what's happening and how we can approach treatment. That should be really helpful in clinical practice.